Hey, what's up YouTube? I just got my talent grips in the mail for the Ruger LC9S and I can't wait to put them on. There are mainly two textures for these grips, granulate and rubber. Granulate is going to be more of a sandpaper texture and provide more grip. Rubber on the other hand is still pretty grippy, but it's a lot more comfortable for concealed carry, which is the main reason I purchased these. I'm going to attempt to apply these rubber grips on video, so please bear with me. Okay, first things first, we're going to go ahead and open up the package and see what we have inside. So it came in this envelope. The grip is obviously flat, so you don't really need any uh, bubble mailer or any padding. Um, so the first thing we have here is, uh, it looks like a, a sticker. And then of course you have uh, the grip. Uh, it's hard to believe that this grip costs about $18 or so, but it makes such a huge difference that I really cannot see um, going without it. Okay, so here's our first insert. It looks like there's a coupon code DIRECT10 for 10% off uh, the next Talon Grips order. I do plan on uh, using this. Uh, I am definitely a fan of the Talon Grips. Me and a lot of friends have been using this uh, for quite some time. So here's the back of the insert here. It looks like it's just an advertisement um, to train with some of the top uh, firearms instructors in the world. Um, so there's that. The next thing here is one piece of paper and it has my uh, order order number and information on the back but on the front uh, is a really important uh, guide for installation so we're going to go ahead and follow these uh, instructions and I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the side while I work on the the item so the first step is to unload and field strip the firearm this is mainly for safety reasons you can apply it with uh, everything still on there but it will be a little bit heavier to manipulate when you have the slide in place another thing that I failed to point out is we do have an alcohol pad included um, it's just really one tiny small alcohol pad. Fortunately, I do have extras handy if I need to use them. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this aside and fuel strip the pistol. So I do want to verify that it is empty before I start so I don't have anything in the magazine. And then I'll go ahead and show you in the chamber we don't have anything, okay? So I'll put the magazine to the side and uh, we're going to take down this lever to access the takedown pin. You gotta move it back about an eighth of an inch. And that's about it. So I don't wanna lose this uh, pin, so I'm gonna put it over here by my laptop. And from here, you just pull the trigger, and it comes right off. So I don't need to disassemble the slide, so I'm just gonna put this over to the side, and we're just gonna work with this. So part of the first step is a suggestion that I really agree with and it's to take the grip and just kind of size it up to the firearm and kind of give it a test fit while the backing is still on there. Okay so it looks like the logo is still going to be showing. I love the, the cut. Very very accurate cuts. One thing I do believe that I'm going to miss a little bit is uh, the checkered grip. So a couple things to be mindful of when you're applying the grip is not to obstruct the magazine release here because when you do push on the magazine release it does uh, protrude from this end. And also it looks like on either side of the handle you're going to have the Ruger logo exposed. Alright so let's go ahead and get started. So fortunately I do have uh, other alcohol preps so I'm going to go ahead and use mine first and wipe it down really well. That's the second step, and you also want to make sure that it's completely dry before you proceed with the application of the grip. So the checkered grip is a little aggressive, so when you use the alcohol wipe, make sure you don't have any lint residue, because that will uh, mess with the uh, adhesive a little bit. So I'm using a toothbrush to get all the lint off. And I'm going to go ahead and use the final alcohol wipe to clean up. Hopefully this has a little bit less lint, so I'm going to be a little bit more gentle with this pass. So after inspecting this a little bit, I don't see any lint. So step three is to remove the backing of the talon grips. Start with the left side and line up the talon grip with the front and bottom of the factory pistol grip. It also suggests to maintain a consistent reveal around the magwell. So one major tip is to gently roll and do not stretch the grip in order to prevent trapping of air. And of course make sure the grip is properly centered on the back strap.
Okay, this is extremely sticky. So you want to gently roll and make sure you don't trap any air bubbles. So it looks like some of the checkered grip on the back of the pistol grip is going to be exposed. So it looks like there's a little bit of overlap right here, and I'm not very happy with that, so I'm probably going to cut a little bit off. Okay, so I cut a little bit of uh, the overlap off. I'm not happy that I had to cut that, but I feel like it was going to interfere with the adhesive a little bit, and I don't want this grip to prematurely wear off. So the final step is to get a heat gun or a hair dryer and just warm it up to the temperature of a warm cup of coffee and firmly press the grip into place. Try not to make fun of me, but I'm going to be using my cousin's hair dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more passes. I'm going to pay a lot of attention to the edges. I want that to adhere the most because if you don't adhere that, it's just going to peel away. So another technique that I use is just to heat up the grip and then press it into place. You can feel the heat of the grip even when it's away from the gun. <clears throat> Alright guys, so there you have it. Whenever you get the grip on there really well, uh, with the heat gun, you can kind of notice some of the grooves. So overall, I really do like the feel of the pistol. It Unquestionably, it grips a lot better. Um, and I feel a lot more confident. I really am excited to take this to the range and see how much better I perform with this. Unfortunately, I do have one gripe, and it is that I had to trim this to make it fit properly. Well, no matter what I tried, it would not fit without overlapping. I tried removing this uh, on this side and the other side um, and reapplying it. In the instructions, it explicitly states that trimming the grip is not necessary. However, I do disagree with this, at least for the Ruger LC9S. Alright guys, so there you have it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. We really appreciate all the support. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to go eat some rice.